Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. Peace, family. This is your brother, Mr. Olipsism. I'm here tonight um, as host of the BAIO Blog Talk Radio Show, just offering up a change of pace for tonight. Um, tonight's title, of sh- the title of tonight's show is Mr. Holipsism's Bootlicking Negro Challenge. And what is Mr. Boot- Mr. Holipsism's Bootlicking Negro Challenge? Well, my Bootlicking Negro Challenge is this. What year and what date did the people currently residing in the United States of America turn from black Africans into black Americans? If the people residing in America today, currently known as black people, are not Africans, and yet there is no dispute over whether or not there was a transatlantic slave trade that brought Africans over to America for free slave labor, and these African slaves that were brought over to this to America apparently no longer exist. And the people currently here are now called black Americans. Then you must explain. Number one, what happened to the Africans that were brought here from Africa to America? Number two, what was the starting point for black American history? Now, If you say we are not Africans, and your conclusion is based on facts and historical evidence and not butthurt emotionalism, then you should be able to provide a year and a date. So that's my challenge. I want to know the year, and I want to know the date, where we transform from black Africans to black Americans with no connection to Africa. And that's very curious because um, there was a lot of um, things that we did when we got here to these shores, a lot of knowledge that we had um, transferred over and taken with us, like knowledge of roots and plants and medicine and stuff like that and and food and cooking and, and just health and ways to, to help us survive during the, the African Holocaust coming to these shores of America. But if people want to say that we're not African, then that means that, what did they have, um, chattel slavery school where we learn this stuff? Like, where did the knowledge come from if it didn't come from Africa? That's just one of the things that I have to say about that. Another thing that I have an issue with is people conveniently connecting with Africa when it suits their purposes and then disconnecting from it and shunning it when it doesn't. Example, when we start talking about our people, we say, well, you know, we were kings and queens. No, we weren't. If your position is that we're not Africans, Africans were kings and queens. There were no kings and queens here in America, so don't claim you know, don't claim to be kings and queens and, and, and saying that, oh, well, we're the father of mathematics and, 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 and um, language. No, we're not. That didn't start in America. That started in Africa. Since you disconnected from that, you're black American. So don't go back to Africa and claim shit in Africa and then deny Africa at the same time. Can't do it. Be consistent. So I I offered this challenge up on Facebook, and nobody took the challenge. You know, like I got usually a lot of the people who uh, follow me on Facebook um, are family, so they really didn't have a problem with the premise of my my challenge. As a matter of fact, they agree with me. But I was trying to get some brothers and sisters who um, disagreed. Like um, on Chef Rob's show, I had put up some clips, some, some YouTube clips from that show, and there was a, a older brother on there who he, he came from the position that we're not African, we're we're Black American, and yet his screen name is Pianki. Hmm. Pianki. Let's see. Is Pianki a Southern name? 
Like, where, what is that, from Mississippi or something? Or is Pianki an Egyptian name, a Kemet name? <laughs> so, you know, so sometimes I think a lot of times these dudes are just playing games. You know what I'm saying? They're just playing games. They don't really seriously believe anything that they're saying. 